What's up, you guys? This is your girl, Miss P. I hope you're doing fabulous. Yes, I'm in another location, but it's only for like the next two weeks or so. Why? Because I'm taking wallpaper down and I'm painting in there and it's just a lot that I have going on. So if I'm recording and inhaling all of those fumes, I might die. Whenever I'm rich and famous and I can hire Jesus to come on in and paint for me, that'll be fabulous. Well, actually, I'm sorry. That was rude of me to just single out Jesus and his people. Maybe I can hire Jesus. Maybe I can hire uh, Marquise and his crew. Okay, those are for my black people. And maybe I can just go ahead and hire Bob, you know, for my Caucasian people. You know what? I'm really not sure what um, Asian people's regular American names are here. Because I don't want to say maybe I can hire Ming Bing. I, I don't want to say that. And now I'm being sexist because I'm only naming males. So maybe I can go ahead and hire Guadalupe and Jesus and they whole team. Or I can hire Marquise and Kiki. Okay. Why, why we got to be Kiki all the time? Why is that the token black female name? Kiki, Man Man, all of them. I can hire them. And also I can get it in with Bob and Carol. Yeah. Also uh, Ming Bing and Ping Ping. Okay, so I done hit it all across the board, the females and the males, all nationalities. And if I took out anybody, I'm sorry. But I did want to hit on that and tell you guys why I'm in another location. Please be sure to go ahead and like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. But the first thing I wanted to get into, why am I doing this? <laughs> I did not hit on the BET Awards with you guys last week because it came around too quickly, but I did do a review on it, so be sure to check it out. But I wanted to hit on some of the fashion from the BET Awards because that was even more foolish than the BET Awards show. The first one I want to hit on is Trinidad James. Now, the reason why I chose this photo of him and Miss Seeley is because it was hilarious to be on Instagram, and he really did look like that. Um... Trinidad James, he's just in a league of his own. Like, you can't really talk about his fashion because he's gonna look like that each and every time. I am glad that he had that little hair braided back. I did like that. Thank you, Trinidad. And I'm glad I could see his little eyeball sockets. So, he's coming into his face. Bless him. French Montana. Now, he performed... I ain't worried about none. He performed for the pre-show. And I said, does he have on, like, a leather skirt set? I wasn't ready and then the towel over his head to shield the heat. I'm I'm so confused. Like leather, hotness, and black folk. It just it's too hot. Sir, mm, mm Stevie Wonder. I love Stevie. Just the no, I love Stevie. I do, but who dressed Stevelyn last week? I am laughing at this Instagram pic because I don't know what happened, Stevie. You could have told him, uh-uh, I'm not feeling this, literally. I want to give two special awards. These are called the What in the World Awards. And pretty much I was just asking them throughout the show, what in the world are you doing? The first one goes to Miss Paula Patton. She goes out and presents with her cast for her new movie. And honey, everybody thought Paula was on something. Baby, are, were you on something? Either she was sipping the yak, smoking on that pie yow, or baby girl was just spaced out because she was extra giggly and <laughs> I wish they would have panned to Robin Thicke. He'd have been like, get your ass off the stage. What's wrong with you? The next one goes to Bobby Brown. I love Bobby. Don't be cruel. Uh, uh, uh. Cause I would never. Yeah, y'all love Bobby. We love Bobby. We have taken, I have taken Bobby into my bosom of love ever since Nippy left. We can go into that later. But Bobby, when he was doing the skit with the Real House Husbands, I'm glad they gave him a little check so that he could come on and do it. But baby, you shouldn't have read nothing. It took you a little bit too long. And Bobby, just what in the world? Get, do you, baby? Do you? Did you guys see this photo on Instagram that Neo posted when he was breaking up with his girlfriend? Uh, excuse me, sir. I did not like this insert. It looked like it was off of somebody's program. The leaves and the trees and you're my miracle of life. And baby girl, I'm going to love you on the other side. What do you, Neo, stop. Please quit it. I, I'm sick of this whole Instagram madness with celebrities. They breaking up. They posting their toenails. They posting eating. You are not regular folk. So quit doing regular stuff. Even though I love it and it's hilarious and it's my reason for giving you guys these fooleries. So keep doing it, celebrities. But it just makes me laugh. I told y'all a few weeks ago whenever this Paula Dean foolishness simmers down like her chili, ain't nobody gonna care no more. But I did want to say one of her supporters out there, aka Shut the Hell Up Stacey Dash, was one of her supporters. I forgot to tell you guys about this, but she told Paula to keep your head up like Tupac, girl. They hating on us. They don't appreciate us. Stacy, 
please stay off of Twitter. You've done enough, and I think we have shunned you because you know not what you do, baby girl. Last but not least, something that I've heard, Dwight Howard is going over to the Rockets. He's going from the Lakers to the Rockets. But I'm not mad that he's moving because everybody be moving. But my thing is, he was teeter-tottering all day. Everybody on Twitter was like, what are you about? What are you going to do? He goes over to the Rockets and he's like, no, I'm going to go back to the Lakers real quick. No, I'm going to go to the Rockets. Okay, I don't know what I want to do. Dwight, we don't, I don't care. I really don't care no more. I really don't. So, down below in the comment section, let me know. Do you care that Dwight Howard has gone over to the Rockets? Were you surprised? Were you enthused? Did you think that the new Superman was going to stay with the Lakers? I don't know. Next week, I'm going to be hitting on my family reunion cookout fuller because it's that time of the year and my family reunion is coming up, honey. And I got to prep all of you guys. So, I cannot wait to see you guys' comments down below. And hopefully, you enjoy this foolery. And I will see you guys next week for another episode of Untitled Foolery. Peace, love, and all that good stuff. God bless. Bye!